Once upon a moonless night in the small, isolated town of Thornwood, a chilling breeze whispered through the trees, foretelling the presence of an entity that would soon unleash terror upon its unsuspecting residents. The air was thick, with an unseen malevolence that seemed to cling to every shadow and seep into the darkest recesses of one's mind. Deep within the heart of Thornwood, a solitary figure emerged from the abyss of madness. The townsfolk had dubbed him the Kirk Killer, a notorious psychotic murderer who donned a Captain Kirk Halloween mask and wielded a gleaming butcher knife. His presence sent shivers down the spines of those who dared utter his name. It began with the disappearance of a young woman named Sarah, whose lifeless body was discovered days later, mutilated and marked by the unmistakable signature of the Kirk Killer. Panic consumed the town as fear spread like wildfire, lurking in the hearts of every resident. They locked their doors, bolted their windows, and prayed that they would not be the next victim. One by one, the Kirk Killer stalked his prey, always lurking in the shadows, his steps as silent as the whispers of the wind. The streets once filled with laughter and life now echoed with the somber sound of terror. Every stranger's gaze was met with suspicion, every rustle of leaves an invitation for a heart to skip a beat. Detective Amelia Hartley, a seasoned investigator with a mind as sharp as a scalpel, was assigned to bring an end to the escalating nightmare. Determined and relentless, she delved into the depths of darkness to uncover the truth. As she pieced together the puzzle, she discovered the disturbing tale of a troubled man, once an innocent child who had succumbed to the twisted allure of the mask and the power it bestowed. But the Kirk killer was always one step ahead, evading Amelia's efforts with a calculated cunning. Each murder was more brutal than the last, the killer seemingly reveling in the fear he instilled. The town had become an open grave, its streets stained with horror and despair. Finally, Amelia found herself haunted by a realization. The key to stopping the Kirk killer wasn't rooted solely in catching him. She had to understand the darkness that drove him, the twisted emotions that danced within his fractured psyche. The chase had become a deadly dance and she was determined to lead. With blood pounding in her ears and sweat clinging to her skin, Amelia embarked on a cat and mouse game. The Kirk killer toyed with her, leaving breadcrumbs of terror to keep her in pursuit. The final confrontation loomed on the horizon, a crescendo of horror and fate intertwining. In the heart of Thornwood's dilapidated theater, an eerie silence filled the air. Amelia stood alone, her heart fluttering with trepidation, as the Kirk killer emerged from the shadows. Their gazes met, and for a fleeting moment, Amelia glimpsed a glimmer of humanity hidden behind the Captain Kirk mask. With a deft motion, the mask slipped from the killer's face, revealing his tortured features. The room filled with a potent cocktail of despair and empathy. In that haunting moment, Amelia understood that the Kirk killer was not the embodiment of Pureville, but a broken soul consumed by darkness, desperately seeking release. With a heavy heart, Amelia raised her weapon, ready to strike down the terror that had gripped the town for far too long. But as her finger tightened around the trigger, a tear slid down her cheek, mingling with the blood-soaked memories of Thornwood. In the end, the true horror was not found in the Kirk Killer's mask or his blade, but in the depths of a human soul, twisted by tragedy, forever lost to the shadows. Detective Amelia's heart pounded in her chest as she watched in disbelief as the Kirk killer, with the Captain Kirk Halloween mask still on his chest, rose up from the ground. No way. Panic gripped her, be. and she stumbled backward, her gun slipping from her trembling grip. The killer's eyes glowed with a malevolent fire behind the mask, a sinister grin etched upon his face. Did you really think it would be that easy, Detective? The killer taunted, his voice laced with a chilling mix of amusement and malice. No one can stop me, no one can not stop even me. you. A wave of fear you. washed over Amelia, but her training kicked in, pushing her to regain control of the situation. She reached for her radio, desperately calling for backup, but only static and sweared her plea. The darkness of the night seemed to thicken as fear tightened the grip on her soul. The Kirk Come killer on, moved it together, forward girl. with amazing speed, closing the distance between them. Amelia attempted to steady herself, reaching for her weapon, but her hands fumbled in her panic. 
The killer's grip tightened around her throat, squeezing the air from her lungs as he lifted her off the ground. His laughter echoed in her ears as he whispered, Now it's your turn to die. Your turn to die. Amelia's vision blurred as she gasped for breath, her body weakening under the killer's merciless grip. Suddenly, from the corner of her eye, she spotted a glimmer of light. It was her partner, Detective Mark, frantically charging toward them swinging a heavy metal pipe. With a roar, Detective Mark brought the pipe crashing down upon the Kirk killer's back. The killer howled in pain and released Amelia who crumpled to the ground, gasping for air. Detective Mark continued his assault, his strikes fueled by rage and determination. For a moment, it seemed as if they had the upper hand. The Kirk killer faltered, but his resolve remained unbreakable. He swiftly fought off Detective Mark's blows and retaliated, throwing him aside with brutal force. The killer's laughter pierced the night as his eyes locked onto Detective Amelia once more. Amelia scrambled to her feet, retrieving her fallen weapon from the ground. She aimed it, her hand steadier now, and squeezed the trigger. But to her horror, the shots merely grazed the killer's arm, leaving him unfazed. The mask made him invulnerable his power seemingly derived from the twisted Halloween object he adorned. The Kirk killer advanced on Amelia once more, closing the gap with each step. Amelia's mind raced, desperately searching for a solution, and then it struck her. With a surge of adrenaline, Amelia retreated, luring the killer deeper into a dimly lit alleyway. Her footsteps echoed off the walls, each step taking her closer to her last resort. Moments later, she reached a stack of crates, her only chance at survival. As the killer cornered her, she climbed swiftly, using every ounce of her strength to ascend the unstable tower. The killer lunged at her, but Amelia leaped to safety, just out of his reach. She watched as he bellowed in frustration, his rage filling the night. Amelia knew her time was short. She searched her surroundings, spotting a rusted metal rod lying within arm's reach. With a quick but focused motion, she grabbed the rod and brought it crashing down upon the Kirk killer's Die already. head, knocking him to the concrete. The killer shrieked in agony as he grabbed his head in horrific pain, sitting up as his power faded away. Weak and vulnerable, he collapsed to the ground, defeated. Detective Amelia stood over him, panting heavily. Your reign of, Your terror, reign of terror ends here, here she declared, her voice filled with defiance. As the police sirens wailed in the distance, the Kirk killer lay motionless, his reign of terror finally vanquished. Detective Amelia had stared into the face of pure evil and emerged victorious, forever haunted by the horrors she had witnessed. But the shadows of that night would forever linger, a stark reminder of the darkness that dwelled within even the most ordinary of masks. Amelia watches the paramedics load the body and head down the highway on way to the morgue. She decides to head to the morgue too, finish up some paperwork, and make sure that Kirk is put in the icebox. But down the road out of nowhere the ambulance flips over and rolls straight into the ditch. The sheer force of the impact caused the doors to burst open. Kirk the killer, fueled by an unstoppable rage, emerged from the wreckage unscathed. Deep gashes covered his body blood spattering across his tattered clothes and onto the cold pavement. Amidst the chaotic scene, screams echoed through the night as the wounded paramedic struggled to escape the clutches of Kirk's merciless grip. The relentless killer, his eyes gleaming with madness, reveled in the terror he instilled in his victims. Meanwhile, in the distance, Detective Amelia watched in horror as the ambulance burned and smoke billowed into the night sky. She had believed she had finally put an end to Kirk's reign of terror, but now her worst fears had come true. Not only was Kirk alive, but he had become even more unstoppable, a creature of pure evil. Gathering her courage, Detective Amelia quickly assessed the situation, her mind racing with thoughts of how to bring down the maniac once and for all. She knew that it was up to her to save innocent lives from the clutches of this monster. As Amelia cautiously approached the wreckage, she spotted Kirk lunging at one of the paramedics with a vicious fury. Acting on instinct, she reached for her service weapon and took aim. But before she could pull the trigger, 
the ground beneath her feet gave way, plunging her into darkness. Amelia found herself in an underground tunnel, dimly lit by flickering fluorescent lights. The putrid stench of decay hung heavy in the air. She knew she had stumbled upon Kirk's lair, a macabre stronghold filled with the remnants of his gruesome murders. Sensing danger lurking in every shadowy corner, Amelia fought off waves of nausea as she navigated the labyrinthine tunnels. She came across room after room, adorned with grotesque trophies from past victims. Blood-soaked tools of torture lined the walls, testament to Kirk's sadistic nature. The atmosphere grew more stifling and suffocating. The tunnels seemed to stretch endlessly, disorienting Amelia as she struggled to maintain her focus, but she refused to give in to the darkness that threatened to consume her. Finally, Amelia reached the heart of the labyrinth. A large chamber, awash in an eerie red glow, confronted her. The walls were adorned with countless photographs of Kirk's victims, their eyes hauntingly staring back at her. Just as Amelia thought she had trapped Kirk, a chilling laughter filled the chamber, reverberating through her very core. Kirk, wielding a blood-stained knife, emerged from the shadows. His eyes were filled with a maniacal delight beyond comprehension. With a swift, brutal motion, Kirk lunged at Amelia, his movements a blur of violence. But Amelia's determination had only grown stronger in the face of immense danger. She fought back, matching his every strike with unwavering resolve. The battle raged on, each blow exchanged punctuated by the screams of the victims who had fallen prey to Kirk's sadistic desires. In a last-ditch effort, Amelia thrust her own blade at Kirk's chest, driving it deep into his cold heart. For a moment, silence engulfed the chamber as Kirk's lifeless body crumpled to the floor. Amelia stood there, panting heavily, her face splattered with blood. The harrowing ordeal had come to an end. As the authorities arrived at the scene, relief washed over Amelia. She knew that Kirk's reign of terror had finally been quelled and that she had brought justice to his countless victims. But deep down, she understood that the scars would forever remain, reminders of the darkness that had consumed their lives. And so, as the horror story came to a close, the memory of Kirk the Killer would forever haunt the dreams of those lucky enough to escape his clutches.